um, be that as it may. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship therein. What temple was this that John was told to measure? The temple of God. Okay. And uh, the measuring, what was that all about? Now, when you measure, according to the scripture, when you measure, you are judging. Okay. Because the measure is the standard. And then when you put it against whatever you're measuring, you, you, you're seeing if that which you are measuring measures up to the standard okay so here we have a judgment of the temple of god now considering the parable that jesus said where he asked the jews based on their treatment of the prophets of god and the prophets of jesus which were sent to them right what would the judgment be? Okay. And they said, well, he will take away the vineyard from them and give it to those who bear the fruits. And Jesus said, yes, God will take the kingdom from you and give it to, do, to another nation. So there was, a, there was a judgment of the temple of God. And this is the temple at jerusalem this temple of god represents the old covenant system there was a judgment of the temple of god the old covenant system the altar and them that worship so it was the old covenant system and those associated with the old covenant system why can i say that because of verse 2 look at verse 2 but the court which is without or outside the temple leave out and measure it not for it is given unto the gentiles and the holy city shall they tread on the foot excuse me 40 and two months so notice the holy city which is jerusalem the gentiles were going to tread on the foot meaning to destroy for 42 months which is three and a half years exactly the time that Rome besieged Jerusalem and then subsequently destroyed the temple and the city. Three and a half years. Okay, so this holy city here is ancient Jerusalem. The Gentiles here are the Romans who tread down or tread on the foot or destroyed the city and the temple. So the temple of God here had to be the ancient Jerusalem temple. So this was this Revelation 11 speaks of the destruction of the temple at Jerusalem. This is a prophecy of the destruction of the temple. Now, Jesus also talked about this in Luke 21 verse 24. Let's see in Luke 21 24. Let's see what Jesus said. And you will see that the book of Revelation is actually the fulfilling of Jesus' own words. Right? Luke 21, 24. It says there, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be what? Trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Exactly what Revelation 11 verse 2 says. The, that the city will be trodden on the foot by the Gentiles for three and a half years. That's the times of the Gentiles. All right. So what we have here is Jesus's words being fulfilled in Revelation 11 verse 2. All right. Now, let's just go back to Revelation 11 and look at something else here because you remember we said that the revelation was portraying the then coming destruction of Jerusalem. So let's go down to verse 8 now. It says there, speaking of the martyrs of Jesus, it says their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Now this great city, there's only one great city that is in the Bible and that is Jerusalem. Okay, So their bodies shall lie in the street of Jerusalem which spiritually 
is called Sodom and Egypt. So Jerusalem has been given the spiritual names Sodom and Egypt. And we're going to see why. Where also our Lord was crucified. So it is clearly identifying Jerusalem as being the center of the book of Revelation's events. The events of Revelation were all centered around Jerusalem, its temple, and its people, right? So why was, Ju why was Jerusalem called Sodom and Egypt? And is there any place in the Bible where we can find it? In Isaiah 1, verses 1 and 10, for example. Isaiah 1, verses 1 and 10. Let's see that, okay? So Isaiah 1, verses 1, it says, The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning what? Judah and Jerusalem, okay? So Isaiah receives a vision concerning Judah and Jerusalem. So let's go down to verse 10 now. What did he see concerning Jerusalem? Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom, and give ear to the law of our Lord, ye people of Gomorrah. So notice, Judah and Jerusalem are here referred to by God as Sodom and Gomorrah. So here, that is why in Revelation 11 it says Jerusalem was spiritually called Sodom, right? And here we get it from Isaiah 1 verse 10. What about Egypt? Well, Egypt is symbolized or, or was called in the Old Testament the house of slavery. For example, I can show you that in Exodus 13 verse 3. Exodus 13 verse 3, Jerusalem was called the house of slavery. Okay, so here we go. Verse 3. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which you came out from Egypt out of the house of bondage. And the word bondage there means slavery. So um, Egypt was called the house of slavery or the house of bondage. So this term was later now applied to Jerusalem by 